your host, Dr. Nisa Goldberg, and as always, we have an exciting lineup today on Beyond the Heart, and we're going to be starting off talking about a very common problem, and that's dry eyes with Dr. Edmund Pripkin. He is professor of, he's a professor and academic vice chairman in the Department of Otolaryngology, head and neck surgery at the Thomas Jefferson University in Philadelphia, and he's board certified in otolaryngology and facial plastic and reconstruct, reconstructive surgery. Welcome to the show. It's a pleasure to be here. So what, can you tell us what dry eyes are and what they may signify? Well, dry eyes can have a lot of different causes. The truth is that about 5 million Americans that are 50 years and older have dry eye and probably tens of millions more have less severe symptoms that are probably just every once in a while instead of all the time. But dry eye is generally a condition where there is not enough tears and so people get a lot of irritation in their eyes and always rubbing their eyes, painful discomfort basically. And um, so who is at more risk for dry eyes? Well, you know, the, generally from the women's health study, which is one of the biggest studies that right. has been done, it's folks that are older. So if you're 50 years or older, and if you're a woman, you have a higher risk of having dry eye. It's about two to one, so about 3.2 million women, if we look at the statistics, to about sure. 1.6 million men in terms of having dry eye. So what is the downside of dry eyes? What are the symptoms? What are some of the complications? Well, you know, the, the biggest thing, of course, is that the eyes are sore and irritated, that it's, uh, it's really a disease where folks are rubbing their eye, where it just feels like an ache in the eye constantly. And it's usually due either to a deficiency of tears or excess tear evaporation. And so what happens basically is that folks are getting sore and irritated eyes, red eyes. Those are sort of the more common signs that we see. And um, what, you know, there are some, how do, you, how do you make the diagnosis of dry eyes? You know, that's one of the tough things. Uh, actually, a lot of it is essentially uh, done by symptoms. So folks look at the symptom scores of dry eye. There are different tests that look at basically the, how irritated the corneas are. But the when you to, to suspect dry eye if you're a patient sure. is basically if you've got irritation, you're rubbing your eyes, they're constantly sore, then it's time to see an eye doctor so that they can do some tests to look at your tear film. Well, do you think it's because uh, do people have dry eyes more often now that we've gotten so electronic using, you know, computers, smartphones, iPads, uh, other devices? Absolutely. That's certainly a problem that we have. Uh, and, you know, the reason that's the case is because most of the time when people are looking at the screen, and I'm as guilty of this as anything else, as anybody else, is that they forget to blink. So people just basically are staring at the screen and not blinking, and so they don't have that natural tear film when you blink that, that rejuvenates the eye, so to speak. So you're uh, saying blinking prevents dry eyes? Well, not exactly prevents it, it treats it. It, it helps treats it. it. And I think that people that don't blink, of course their eyes then don't get the natural tears coming across the eye. They don't have the windshield wiper effect, so to speak, <laughs> of, like the, of the eyelids. Uh, but I mean, some of the real things that you notice are essentially dryness people will have. They'll have a gritty or sandiness type of uh, feeling uh, when they do blink. They'll have a burning. And a lot of times they'll have like uh, redness and discharge. Sometimes their eyes are almost stuck shut in the morning. Right. Those are symptoms of dry eye. And, and paradoxically, actually, tearing is sometimes a symptom of dry eye because it, it hurts in the, and basically your tears are trying to put out the flame, so to speak. 